The National Capital Region or Metro Manila will be put under community quarantine for a month starting Sunday amid the COVID-19 pandemic. The president said the military and police will implement restrictions under this measure, but he assures the public restricted movement in NCR is not martial law. Jenny Don with a story. President Duterte places the entire metro under quarantine. This means travel in and out of the capital will be restricted to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. The order will take effect on Sunday and will run for a month. The crisis is very, very clear. COVID-19 uh, is spreading all throughout the country, including the Philippines. Domestic air and domestic sea travel to and from Metro Manila shall be suspended beginning 15, 2020, March, March 15, 2020, and to end on April 14, 2020, sa alas subject to the daily review by the Interagency Task Force. The president clarified, though, that this is not a precursor to martial law. Hindi ito martial law. It is not a martial law. It's not even uh, something extraordinary. But what is sought, what is sought to be severe is the, again, walang iba except to fight the virus and to exact compliance. Mas mabuti talaga yung maniwala kayo. The president even expressed his reservations in using the term lockdown to avoid steering panic. He reiterated that this measure does not mean there is a struggle of power. For Manila, may ayaw namin gamitin yan, pero kasi takot kayo sabihin lockdown. But it's a lockdown. There is no struggle of power here. Walang away dito, walang gira. It's just a matter of protecting and defending you from COVID-19. It has nothing to do with the power of the military or the power of the police, nor or my, my power and of this guy is beside me. In the end, it's not an issue of, it's just an issue of uh, protecting public interest. And public health. Yun lang. Duterte also urged students to stay at home and avoid social gatherings such as rallying and partying. He also tells Metro Manila residents not to argue or fight with uniformed troops. Uh, kailangan ko sila. Not, not, not to fight with you guys. Huwag kayong matakot ng, sa sundalo ninyo. Sundalo ninyo yan. Ang armed forces Ang armed forces is there to serve you. Sila yung sundalo ninyo. So wag kayong matakot kung nandyan sila sa utos ng mga civilian authorities. Wag kayong ma... Do not try to play with uh, martial law, martial law, military. Hindi yan. Hindi yan. Pero ang sa totoo, ni total breakdown, uh, public disturbance, Alang-alang kami ang iharap mo, wala namang kaming... It's always the military who keep th things in the country in order. Sila yan. The IATF has yet to iron out the specific guidelines of the order. But what's clear is, the government is limiting movement of people in NCR, hoping to prevent COVID-19 cases from rising. For News 5, Jerry Dongon, We Are One News. Malacanang clarified a few details about the NCR-wide community quarantine. Cabinet Secretary Carlo Nograles says the partial lockdown also covers arrivals at the NAIA. This means those landing at the airport will have to stay in Metro Manila and they will not be allowed to leave the capital. Nograles advised incoming travelers to make use of the Clark Airport instead if they still wish to travel to other parts of the country. Foreign nationals who want to fly home from Metro Manila to their respective countries will be allowed to do so. Anyone flying in from abroad 
via NAIA will remain in Metro Manila until the domestic travel ban is lifted. And again, that begins on March 15. Trade Secretary Mon Lopez also clarified that the transport of goods to Metro Manila will not be hampered. This is to address fears of shortage, particularly on medical supplies. Lopez warns enterprising businessmen that authorities will pounce on hoarders and those who will unjustly jack up prices, including online sellers. Mandato na rin po ng ating Pangulo na isama ang, D, ang DILG, ang PNP, Kapulisan, at ang NBI uh, para mahanap natin, matukoy natin sino talaga yung mga negosyante na nagsasamantalan. Ganun na rin ho sa mga nagbebenta online. Papahanap din po namin kayo, lalo na kung ang binibenta niyo mga medical products. As for students from outside Metro Manila, final exams are still scheduled next week but will be implemented on a staggered basis. For students here in NCR, the Education Department says grades will be computed based on the past three quarters. For those who are not comfortable with their grades, well, you have this option. Kung hindi naman sila satisfied dun sa kanila magiging grado, ay magkakaroon din po ng online examination. No, isa ito sa mga uh, gagawin ng DEPED dito sa Kamaynilaan on the assumption na ang Kamaynilaan ay uh, mga 98 to 99% dito ang penetration ng cellphone at ang penetration ng Wi-Fi. Nograles, meanwhile, said that Malacanang is set to release a memorandum on the resolution proposed by the Interagency Task Force. The memo, which will have more details on the order, is set to be released later today. IATF will come up with a resolution. No? As we always do after every meeting, my resolution yan. The resolution will be presented to the President for the President's approval. At uh, we will adjust accordingly kasi yung resolution namin is merely recommendatory to the President. And the President will make the final decision dun sa mga resolutions. After he makes the final decision, then it will be um, embodied in a memorandum. Uh, hindi na kailangan ng EO kasi ang napag-usapan namin kagabi pag executive order uh, may delays po yan, may publication requirement pa. But because of uh, the needs of the time na kailangan immediate uh, through a memorandum uh, adopting whatever recommendations ng um, IATF uh, is already as good as law. President Duterte's declaration of a community-wide quarantine in Metro Manila has raised a number of questions. These include the entry of workers living outside of the region and talks of localized quarantine. To tell us more about this, we have on the phone DILG Undersecretary Jonathan Malaya. Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Hi, I think, uh, Yusek, the most pressing uh, question on everyone's minds right now is that announcement also that LGUs can also you know, make a call to lock down their particular city, for example, San Juan City or Mandaluyong City. How then will this affect the community quarantine, the larger Metro Manila community quarantine? Well, uh, both complement each other. Remember, uh, we don't have a lockdown in the entire Metro Manila. What we have is simply a community quarantine, which is why we have businesses open, which is why we will allow workers from the provinces to work in Metro Manila to come in. That is why we have all of these um, uh, uh, procedures you know, for social distancing as opposed to a lockdown. Now, uh, the president gave an authority to the local government unit if uh, they, they so need, if the situation requires, and if they, uh, if the local government unit determines that there's a cluster in a certain area, for example, a street or a building, the local government unit in cooperation with the DOH and the DILG may impose a a quarantine, meaning it will be a lockdown. A lockdown in the real sense, not the community quarantine, which we have right now. But that will be very, very localized, right, Yusek? If, for example, yes. if you're saying uh, it's a certain, uh, let's say, mall or a certain village, they can just lock down just that certain establishment or, or building or village, perhaps, or barangay. Is that what you're saying? Just to make it That's very, right. very clear. Yeah. Exactly. That's right. So if the mayor, for example, of Manitina is worried about uh, a certain cluster of uh, confirmed uh, or suspected COVID-19 cases in a certain barangay, he may choose to close two streets and places on lockdown to ensure that those inside won't be able to infect the ones outside. 
will have to coordinate this with the national government also. So is, is the national government going to have to be in very close contact with the LGUs when it comes to rolling out lockdowns or further quarantines, uh, whatever the term may be applied in, in specific cases? Yes. The, uh, we are now in very close coordination with the LGUs. Uh, remember, the LGUs are part of the DILG family. So we have embedded in every LGU a field office. So uh, our relationship is very close. And uh, since the start of the coronavirus issue in the Philippines, the crisis, the DOH has also been working closely with the LGUs, in particular contact tracing. So there is already a protocol in place. Uh, we just have to strengthen it. So in case a certain mayor decides that um, I would want to place this certain street or this certain subdivision under, under quarantine or lockdown, he will have to seek the advice of the DOH so that the decisions of the local government can be, uh, are supported by national government and to ensure that that decision is based on facts and not simply on speculation or fear. Right. Just to clarify, Secretary Anyo, for example, we have a barang, uh, sorry, uh, Malaya, uh, Malaya, sorry. Uh, we have, for example, a barangay quarantine. Does that mean that, let's say, the head of that barangay, that LGU, will now have the power to really lock down all establishments, retail, st uh, retail shops, or uh, will there still be uh, exceptions to this? Yes, technically, yes. We will be more stricter because, remember, Metro Manila is already on quarantine. So if we uh, declare a certain portion of it, a small portion of it, be or a street or a sitio or a barangay under lockdown or under quarantine, we will have to be stricter. Okay? Um, so the local government official on that area, for example, the barangay captain, cannot do this alone. He has to seek the support of the mayor. And the mayor will have to coordinate with us and the DOH so that all government agencies uh, would work together to ensure that this area is contained. Remember, the Philippine National Police is a national government agency. Therefore, the uh, local government unit has to seek the support of the DILG. And here we already um, extended to them and told them that we will extend to them all the support necessary if, uh, they, could, if they need, see the need for a localized uh, lockdown in their specific area. All right, um, Yusek Malaya, one clarification. Again, everything's a clarification today. Uh, we just spoke to Kainta, Mayor Nieto, and I was asking how it's going to be because a lot of people are asking they live in the greater Metro Manila area, but this community quarantine is centered only around Metro Manila. So a lot of workers, and this was also partially addressed by uh, the president last night, uh, when, for example, you live in, uh, let's say, San Pedro Laguna or from um, Cainta Rizal and you work in the, within the NCR or Metro Manila, uh, what Mayor Nieto of Cainta said was that they will allow uh, people to transport themselves freely where, whereupon they don't know what will happen if they come across those watching the borders or uh, those enforcing this community quarantine. They don't know whether or not they will be let in. Now, previously, uh, the national government has said all these workers need is proof of an ID that they are indeed deployed inside the metro and this should be a no problem in and out. Uh, can you reassure our workers who live in the greater Metro Manila area or even those coming out from uh, Santa Rosa, Laguna, perhaps, uh, how they will go to work? Because there's a lot of uncertainty about this. Okay, uh, let me just allay the fears over the public. The president's decision was very clear, and it was he who made that announcement last night. Those who are living outside of the Metro Manila area, maybe uh, Cavite, for example, Cavite, Batangas, or Rizal, or um, uh, Laguna, or Bulacan, if they work inside Metro Manila, they will have to go through an inspection process at the border. Okay, They will have to show their ID, and they will have to undergo a thermal scan. So um, if you have a valid ID which shows that you have a legitimate business or you are legitimately employed inside Metro Manila, you will be allowed to come in. But please prepare for a long line because these are thousands of people who, you know, who are residents of Metro Manila by day. So it will be an inconvenience. But so the, so, so the best thing uh, for uh, those people is to find alternative lodging inside Metro Manila if possible or if the employers themselves will give them alternative lodging arrangements inside their businesses while this quarantine is in effect for the next 30 days. Because it will be very inconvenient because of the influx of people coming in in the morning 
and coming back to their respective uh, homes in the afternoon. So our appeal to the public is do not attempt to come inside Metro Manila once this uh, travel ban is, is um, implemented because you are just going to add to the uh, long line, to the congestion, and you will be disappointed. Because if you cannot show an ID, a valid ID, to go inside Metro Manila to show that you are working here, you will not be allowed to come in. All right. Um, of course, there have been a lot of talk, a lot of buzz in social media as well as, um, you know, chat groups on our cell phones. Yusek, um, who will be manning these points in and out of Metro Manila, which will be under community quarantine come Sunday? Uh, will it be the AFP PNP? Uh, who can we... It will be. It will be primarily the Philippine National Police. Okay. The AFP will just be on standby. Uh, we just met with the chief of the Philippine National Police this morning, Chief uh, PNP Chief Gamboa, and he has designated uh, the focal person is Police General uh, Eliazar. He will be in charge of this entire operation, and the ground commander will be uh, NCRPO General Sina. So um, all of the ingresses and egresses of Metro Manila, there will be a, in, a, a checkpoint to be manned by the Philippine National Police. And tomorrow morning, we are meeting with all Metro Manila mayors to seek their support you know, to provide assistance to the PNP and maybe some additional warm bodies to man the inspection uh, sites and checkpoints that will be set up uh, in the various LGUs, especially those bordering the provinces that surround uh, Metro Manila. All right, Yusek, I'd like to ask about the large gatherings that are prohibited until mid-April. Does this mean that all masses or other religious gatherings will be banned? Have we heard from the CBCP regarding this? That's the intention, and uh, the Archdiocese of Manila has already declared that they will no longer have masses. And what will they have are televised masses. No? But, but this, of course, only applies to the Archdiocese of Manila. There's more dioceses across the country. So we will be appealing to the CBCP and to the other religious groups like Iglesia de Cristo and other religious denominations as a uh, temporary measure for the next 30 days to suspend uh, all of their masses and religious activities in compliance with the recommendations of the WHO for uh, the prohibition of mass gatherings. All right, definitely an interesting next few weeks. We are looking forward to those guidelines. Thanks once again, DILG Undersecretary Jonathan Malaya.